Welcome to this video tutorial on how to assemble ABB CableDon ADI-3M. In this video, you will discover how to install three ADI-300 connectors onto an ADI-3M connector adapter for a compact fitting. To perform the following installation, you will need the VHB-68 insulated hex key from ABB, a 20 to 35 newton meter torque wrench, and a pair of cutting pliers. Start by mounting ADI-3M onto the two top bus bars using the hex key. Then, fasten ADI-3M onto the bus bars with 20 newton meter. Mount the first ADI-300 loosely onto the lower bus bar L3. Continue by mounting ADI-300 loosely onto the lower position L2 of ADI-3M and finish with the L1. The ADU-300 is mounted loosely onto the pen bus bar. You now need to mark the cables to remove the insulation. For each cable, mark the upper and lower position of the metal connector. The top marking indicates where to cut the cable. The lower marking indicates how much cable insulation should be removed to fit into the connector. You can now cut the cables at the perfect length and remove the insulation. Also remove the ADI-300 and ADU-300 connectors from the cabinet. You will now assemble the cable with each connector and reattach the connectors with the recommended torque. Start with a connector for the pen bus bar. First, place it on the cable and then attach it to the bus bar. Fasten it with 20 newton meter of torque. Then, tighten the cable clamp with the right torque depending on cable size. Use 20 newton meter for cables with an area of 50 to 95 square millimeter. Use 35 newton meter for cables between 120 and 300 square millimeter. Repeat this process for the connector on the lower bus bar L3. Then, place the ADI-300 connector on the cable for L2 and mount it on position L2 of ADI-3M. Fasten the connector with 20 newton meter of torque and tighten the cable with the appropriate torque depending on the cable size. The final connector is placed onto the cable and mounted onto the L1 position of ADI-3M. Fasten it and tighten the cable with the right torque. The assembly of ADI-3M and ADI-300 connectors is now operational.